So one of the ways that rejection sensitivity shows up for me is overthinking every single communication that I'm going to have with another human. Every conversation I have had, will have, or are currently having with anybody. For example, even sending a simple Slack message to a client, somebody in a networking group, or even somebody on my team, I will type it up and then I will read it, reread it, make edits, tweaks, changes. It may take me five minutes to send like one sentence to somebody in Slack. But it doesn't end pressing send because you have the ability to edit your messages and a lot of things. So I will reread it at least one or two times after I press send. This shows up when I'm sending, you know, chat messages to my husband, to my kids. It shows up when I'm making social posts, when I'm making TikTok videos, when I'm you know, doing anything that I have to communicate something to somebody. And it's even worse with written communication because I feel like I have to make sure that the tone is communicated and that they understand if I'm upset, if I'm happy, if I'm sad, if I'm, you know, whatever. Like I have to make sure that I find a way to include the proper emojis or the proper descriptors so that they can really understand the tone that I was trying to come across with in the message as well. So one of the best things that I've found to kind of help make this process a little bit easier is Loom. So I can restart the recording a time or two, but usually I get a little bit frustrated with that. So I will um, just kind of run with it eventually and kind of just get it done. But Loom helps me communicate tone. So I feel like I'm at least able to say things the right way. I can pause for a second, recollect my thoughts. This is probably also one of the reasons why I really like TikTok because when you're making TikTok videos, you can do like I'm currently doing and you can get your one thought out and then you can stop and then you can formulate the next thought and go again and record a complete cohesive train of thought um, in little bites that work really well for me. So that's probably the biggest thing I do when, when we're talking about rejection sensitivity is I really do overthink every communication. I'm, I'm playing out how it could work. I'm playing out how they could perceive it. And it really makes it harder for me to communicate quickly with people. Um, even though in the end, I think I communicate pretty effectively speed and, you know, emotional calories and mental calories definitely go through the roof the more I have to communicate.